Danny Green. Danny Green. Danny Green. Danny Green. On John. And he tried to switch on me, and I ended up seeing Lamar just on me. And John told me even before he even ran the play, he's like, be ready because you may be open as soon as you slip on the screen. And he just threw it to me, and I saw seen Lamar and he thought I was going to drive it, and I just gave him a jab to the right. And down you said a couple days ago, no one can guard you playing in Southern, so that goes for the guy like Kawhi Leonard, who is considered probably the best provider of Finnegan. He's a great defender. He's an awesome defender. He's a great competitor. Um, I mean, he's definitely one of the one of the best to ever guard me. You know, I mean, he's tough, but you know, at the same time, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna let anybody just keep me from being me. You know, no matter who it is, you know, I'm not taking anything away from him or anybody else in the league. It's just me being confident in myself. You've hit big shots before this season, but are you is your confidence level at, a, at another level at this point? I guess you could say that. You know, it's just it's just me coming into my own. I guess you know, it's just me being. Being confident in myself, coach trusting me, my teammates trusting me, and, and being able to step into the role where I need to take big shots and make them as well. You and John, again, fourth quarter, were part of the comeback. You hit a big three to tie it, got some free throws, put you guys up, you hit a big shot. Another example of how you guys are kind of taking over in fourth quarter. Oh, for sure. You know, I have to tip my hat off to John because, you know, he didn't, he didn't score in the first half. And he had 17 in the second half. He just stayed with it. You know, he didn't get down. He was able to double him. Whenever he got in the paint, everybody collapsed. And he did a great job of staying with it and staying confident in himself. And, and he made big plays for us down the stretch. You know, he made some big shots, big passes, and great defensive plays. And, and me, I just I just had to help the team. You know, I just wanted the team to stay aggressive, knock down my shots as much as I could. And, and now we were fortunate to be able to come back and win. Fred, in the past, do you think that's a shot that you would take a, no. a jab stop after? No. No. Not at all. Wouldn't even think about it. Why? Because I would be, what, 19 years old? No way I was going to shoot that. Or even last year, the year before? I shot it last year, but not, no, not the first two years, no. Who are your pastors? No, I probably shot something else. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, I know you guys weren't happy with your defensive effort in the first few games. This looks like a 180 from that. Um, what do you attribute to that, that adjustment and that change to? I practice. You know, uh, coach got after us a little bit. Um, you know, he's really peed off about the way we were playing the first couple games. And, and we knew that if we weren't going to play defense this game, we were going to get blasted by 20. So uh, the, the key for us was just to make them a comfortable pressure the ball as much as possible and wear them out. And we did that uh, for 48 minutes. You know, we, we got off to 19-2 start, but they ended up they ended up hitting us back. But I think we did a great job of, of sustaining that and, and just staying close as much as we could. We know it's a great team, but our defense is what ultimately won us this game. What was the message after that first quarter when it was such a weird it was weird, uh, but you know, it's. Was, it was, I mean, that's just the pace that we need to play with, you know. And I think sometimes, I think we got a little tired after after, after a few minutes. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, we still. That's what. That's the way we need to continue to play throughout the whole game and for the rest of the year. Obviously, it's going to feel a lot better with the win, but how about with that pace against that team? How much fun was that out there tonight? Oh, super fun, you know, because they kind of play the same way. You know, I was tired and they were moving, cutting, passing the ball. Then you have to try to come down and do the same thing on them and and try to score. So, you know, it was definitely a fun game. You know, and whenever you play a competitive team like that with the crowd in it and, and uh, everything on the line, you know, it's always, that's what that's what you live for. Being able to limit the turnovers tonight, what was the difference for you guys offensively in doing that? Moving the ball and not over dribbling. You know, I think that's what hurts us a lot. Uh, we, we, get, we get too caught up in trying to do our own thing. Uh, me included, you know, I, sometimes I get too caught up in dribbling too much and, and, and over dribbling and not even, not even making us right, make it, not making the right play, and the defense collapsing, you know, turning the ball over. So it's just a matter of us just moving the ball, sharing the ball, and uh, and just making smart plays and be de be decisive with our decision making. I mean, obviously, of course, for Frank out here, you've been been wanting this for production. This is what you envision for the average twenty five points a game. <laughs> I'm not an oracle, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> when you go into the year, though, is this what you? Yeah, it was, it, for? yeah. Uh, just me, just being an aggressor. You know, it doesn't matter how many points I score. Um, my biggest thing for me was just making sure my my percentages improved, and, and that I was I will always promise myself I would, promise myself that I would be aggressive every time I step out on the floor. Probably the shot that you knew was going down, and you let it go. Yeah, I mean that's, that's probably the. Like out of all my shots tonight, that that one felt the best. Honestly, you know everything was in rhythm. It just felt naturally good, and I knew as soon as I as soon as I jabbed him, I knew it was good. When you see Parker hit the three with seven seconds to go to tie it, uh, what's your thought process? I told everybody don't worry about it. I told Gortat, he looked and he's like, oh man. I was like, we have seven seconds. We're fine. We're, we're going to win the game and you know win it.
it's only four games into the season, but considering the opponent, can you view this as a measuring stick game? Oh, for sure. You know, that's this is a playoff team, and, and that's a championship team. And, you know, they they know what it takes to, to get there, and, and they play that way throughout the whole year. So that was a great test for us for one, and, and, and it's a win on top of that. We're never going to – we're never not going to be satisfied with the win, no matter who it is, no matter how they play or what type of game they play. Thanks, guys. Thank you.